TDR Conference 2016 Prophecies. If you look at the Quran, the Quran uses language which the native Arabs at that place could relate to. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He defines Jannah, Allah says, Jannat in Tajrim in Tahti al Anhar. Gardens beneath which rivers flow. Now, if you look at Malaysia, look at UK, you have gardens, plenty of greenery, you have plenty of rivers flowing. Why does Allah use this description? Jannat in Tajrim in Tahti al Anhar. Because see, the Arabs lived in barren land, in dry, harsh weather. They had heard about gardens, they had heard about river flowing, and they dreamt about this, but they never experienced it. So when Allah defines for them, Jannat in Tajrim in Tahti al Anhar, that Jannah will be plenty of water, plenty of greenery. This was something beloved to them. Even as far back as the time of Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam, when he brought his wife and a child to Mecca, Allah says about the land, غَيْرَ ذِي زَرْعٍ Total barren. No vegetation, nothing at all. But the amazing thing is that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith, he said, the hour will not be established حَتَّى تَعُودَ أَرْضُ الْعَرَبِ مُرُوجٍ وَأَنْحَارَ That the hour will not be established until the land of the Arabs returns to being green and lush and plenty of rivers. This is one of the signs of the Day of Judgment. That the Arab land, Saudi and all these land, will not, the hour will not be established until it will return, be green, lush and plenty of rivers. Now how did the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi know this? Today, research has shown, Michael Petrogalia of Oxford University has mentioned, he's a professor in Oxford University in evolution and prehistory. He says, that new innovative satellite information has shown us that the entirety of the Arab Peninsula was once green and lush. That there were tens of thousands of rivers running through it. That the first exodus of man from Africa was actually to the Arab Peninsula. Even the dry Nafud Desert, which is in Saudi, where it has tens and thousands of rivers. Even the Sahara Desert was once green and lush and inhabited. But not only that, it's also strengthened by the fact that they have found remains of crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and also elephants in that area. SubhanAllah, this is amazing. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu said, Hatta ta'udu ardul anhara. But there's a second part of this narration that the hour will not be established until the earth returns to being green, lush, and plenty of rivers. Now, they say with climate change, Professor Steph Coplin of Munich University, he studied that area for approximately two decades. And he says that those shrubs which were non-literally existence once upon a time have now grown into becoming huge shrubs. He says, I've traveled the area, I've spoken to the local Bedouins. They say within our lifetime, there were places there was no rain. He said, the rain that we get now is uncomparable. They say, our lands, not even a scorpion could live. Not even a blade of grass could grow. He said, you have grass growing there. And this is subhanAllah. And I was reading upon this and many of the analysts say that there's a strong possibility that that part of the world will become green and lush again. How did he know this? Because he was inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is within our lifetime, you see this. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.